Hello guys, in this video I'll be finishing up the fly layout. So right now I'll do some markings. So it will be easier for me to build the actual station. My goal today is to build the fly, but my problem is I don't have enough um, park space because in the Google Maps I see that the fly is bigger. I need to make this bigger but the thing is it won't fit in this small spot right here so i'm thinking of building a miniature version of the shockwave right here it would look cool but i don't think it will be writable all right so we should be building the fly it's really hard because i don't have enough space to build the actual roller coaster so i'm thinking of making this steeper in order to have the turn here but if I don't, if I just leave it like this, the turn will be like on the path, which is, it, it won't look good. Just gonna try and see what will happen. So like this, right, I can make this shorter so that we have enough space for the drop. Like this, so I can put it down a bit. And someone mentioned that my previous uh, drop was too low on the ground, so I'll put this up a bit. Hopefully that's enough. Now I noticed in Google Maps this is supposed to be like twice as big, but since we don't have enough space I'm just making it smaller, like a miniature version of the fly. Hopefully it still looks good. So I came up to this point where I'm thinking of making just one loop and then downwards now since we won't have enough space for to for it to be like the actual coaster. So I'm thinking of moving here and back towards us and then in this section just go down they'll be under the track back here and then they'll be at the end hopefully that makes sense but i'll eventually make this soon
you go and this is what we have so far so let's test it
There you have it. I finished the layout of the fly and this is what it looks like. I think it's not that bad. Just some parts weren't that smooth so I'll fix that in the future. And there, there's some parts that I have to put brakes on. So that's that and yeah let's test it. There you go. So I've actually built this first and there's some times that I've um, deleted some parts. And I just moved the whole thing away. Yeah, I might have put, I might have uh, need to put some bl uh, block breaks there. Oh, it looks ooh nice. There you go. I think it's a bit too fast. That's the thing. There you go. And a turn. Yeah, I think it's not bad. It's just some parts weren't that smooth. Let's make some changes. And I also change the color of the ride so it matches the fly and also the support beams to blue i haven't changed the ride though i think i don't know what it looks like in the real life i have to i have to see what it looks like first and then change it let's actually do some changes real quick so i'm pretty sure this has to be a block break let's try putting actually no not block break because it will stop the ride just gonna put some brakes here so it slows down so brakes here like let's do half brakes and then and the other half like a chain lift so that it just boosts the coaster hopefully they'll look good let's see Hmm. I don't think that kind of worked, but this part I just realized it's not smooth. So let's change that. I think, yeah, this part. So a technique that I figure out when I built the Thunder Ride or the Vortex was to make things smooth, you just have to delete the two previous parts and then just connect it like this. Just have to uh, snap the node to the next segment so that it'll just automatically um, create a smoother section for the ride and see that is 10 times smoother and i'm just gonna do that for the rest all right that's it for today's video now i'll be building the station soon hopefully soon since i don't have time right now 
If you have any suggestions on how I can improve my builds, then feel free to comment down below. And if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and also hit that bell icon for notifications. And yeah, here's the results. Yeah.